Farage is a man of tremendous ambition and self-obsession and sometimes these things come together and they make for an interesting and enjoyable personality sometimes they make for a crashing bore I tend to think that Farage is an interesting personality I don't particularly uh, like his policies but I think he is interesting the leader of reform and this morning on breakfast TV uh, he said that he aims to be the primary voice of opposition in the UK he doesn't intend to be prime minister he just intends to make a fuss uh, he intends to be difficult however he didn't specify or he wasn't able to specify or he ducked and he dodged the question about how many seats his party would contest in the election on July the 4th uh, and this omission uh, should raise questions about his preparedness his seriousness uh, about his own political ambitions and about his party's political ambitions basically he's a self-obsessed um, ego driven one man band and that is reform and in in saying that of course you've got to salute the man because he's done terribly well Farage cited um, this YouGov poll uh, that reform is currently one point ahead of the Conservatives it's only one poll but it marks a significant milestone for the party suggesting a shift in voter sentiment but it is just one poll and polling results can vary widely depending on the method of polling the questions placed the sample size um, and other polls depict a completely different picture some showing a larger gap between the conservatives and reform you but the conservatives aren't doing well are they I mean this isn't something to crow about oh it's just one poll it's just one poll yeah, I do, do. Do you remember that wonderful, wonderful sketch with the crazy gang, with somebody who who um, who walks on stage with two sticks, and uh, and he says Tower Hill. Another another bit, Buckingham Palace, and uh, uh, and the fellow says, "What are you doing? I'm showing two poles around London." Um, but I, it's just a pole, and criticism uh, is um. Is, is, is appropriate because Farage's inability to state how many seats reform will contest demonstrates absolutely his lack of detailed planning, his knowledge of the party's electoral strategy, and that criticism adds to the perception of Farage as being more focused on himself, on his own public persona, than on serious political strategy. Uh, I think you could have asked Boris Johnson the same sort of questions and he would have been equally nonplussed because he's not interested. Farage's ambition to be the main opposition voice reflects um, the evolving landscape of UK politics where traditional party loyalties have become fluid, rather like the loyalties of mainstream media. The rise of Reform UK uh, indicates a growing dissatisfaction with the major parties, particularly with the Conservatives, but it's also an indication of the rise of individuals, individualism, and Farage's strong media presence and ability to capitalize on public discontent has positioned him as, a, uh, as an important political figure. But he's a man of negativity, he doesn't have anything positive to offer. He is self-obsessed to the point of absurdity. Bob, self-obsessed. And, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know where this character can go. <laughs> this sort of cockney farage. Um, self-obsessed. I don't have a thought about anyone else. Me. Um, <laughs> my credibility is on the line. My credibility, would you like a pint? Uh, <laughs> my effectiveness as a political leader is in question. 
uh, his recent media appearances, for example, last night, um, underscore his ambition and his um, obsession with culture. Culture. The only culture I know is the culture of my cheese. Farage. Like uh, garage. Like savage. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's uh, um, the political uh, the political landscape into which he has stepped. The culture of that political landscape is dynamic, and uh, uh, and in that we're we're standing on a point of cultural of of political tectonic change, and. Farage, Farage is the one who wants to remain upright. I will remain upright, uh, and um, I, I, I think he's right. I think he will. Um, I don't necessarily think that's good for all, all of us because Farage, as, as a, do not forget, Farage is self-obsessed. That's really the important thing. Farage is self-obsessed, and how do we know? because he doesn't know how many people he's got standing in his party. He's taken over as party leader, and he doesn't know anything about his party. Well, 